Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru, and in this video we are going to review the native ads platform of AdCash. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Debru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are on the homepage of AdCash, and today we are going to review their native ads platform. So AdCash has multiple ad formats available, but today we're going to focus on native, of course. So let's start and take a look at their at their homepage and see what kind of traffic they have. If we can have some some numbers on their traffic, so let's take a look. Advertise advanced targeting and our fraud technology. Yeah, yeah. So we have pop under right here. Let's see if we can see them all. Interstitial ads, in page push, native ads, banner ads, and auto tag. So the auto tag is, is quite interesting. I think it's a mix and match of a couple different ad formats together in one campaign. Let's take a look. Comprising three top converting ad formats in page push. Uh, pop under and interstitial all together in one campaign pretty cool but that's not what we're going to focus on today we are going to focus on native ads also known as sponsored content are an incredibly effective way for advertisers to promote products and content this ad format blends seamlessly with its surrounding content to generate high engagement and conversion rates Native ads are non-intrusive and provide publishers with an easy way to boost their ad revenue without disrupting the user's on-site experience. All right, let's see if we can uh, get some numbers. 200 million unique users per day, 12.1 million dollars fraudulent traffic removed in 2020 and 250,000 conversions per day. Doesn't really say anything. I'd rather have some numbers on the amount of traffic, for example. But maybe they have down here. No, they don't. All right. No worries. No worries. Let's, uh, let's just get started. I'm going to sign in here real quick. And then we can uh, start create a campaign. There we go. So let's go to campaigns. And we're going to click on create campaign. So right here we have the option between express campaign and advanced campaign. What is the difference? In the end, nothing. Uh, so the express campaign shows you the uh, most used uh, filters, basically the most used settings. And as soon as you have filled all those out, it will generate your uh, campaign. Of course, you can still make those detailed calls and detailed targeting inside your campaign, but the setup is very quick. So it jumps over that, uh, that very detailed targeting at the start so that you can launch quick and then later on you can always go more detailed. But today we want to see what kind of options they provide and what kind of targeting they provide. So we are going to go with the advanced campaign so that we can see all the settings of our campaign and see on which parts we can target or optimize and what we're missing inside of AdCash. So let's get started. I'm going to click on create a campaign. <clears throat> Perfect. First, we want to give our campaign a name. Let's just call it Debru. All right. I would call it something that helps you remember it. Give it the name of the offer. Maybe get the geo in there, whatever. Device type targeting. So we're not going to run console, smartphone, tablet and other devices. We're just going to run desktop for this campaign. Let's see what kind of other, other devices they have, by the way. So TV, media hub, small screen, e-reader, even e-reader, wow. Smartwatch, smart speaker, and other devices. All right. Cool. Then we have the geo-targeting. All right. So which country do you want to promote your offering? Let's see if we have Canada and how much t uh, traffic they have available in Canada. So about half a million potential daily impressions, not a whole lot if you're going to continue the targeting. So maybe we need to select a different country. Let's check how the USA is. Let's see. Mm, does it find it under USA? Probably have to spell it out. There we go. 
All right, so that's 2.5 million. So a lot bigger, um, a lot more volume in the United States as in Canada. So we're gonna go with the US for now. All right, cool. So right here we can select our supply. So what kind of traffic do we want to receive with this specific campaign? So obviously it's just gonna be native. Let's turn everything else off and you can see those potential daily impressions decreasing even more. Ooh, not a whole lot left, all right? So if you want to run specifically on native, if, you, if you're only using one type of traffic source, then the volume might be a little bit low, all right? So if you're doing US native only, then we haven't done any other targeting and we only have 35 potential impressions per day left. So that's maybe no good. So perhaps we need to use uh, ad cash for a different geo, all right? Let's, uh, let's check some of the European countries. Let's check France. All right, so we want the country, there we go. Ooh, is that still? Okay, yeah, so France has a little bit more than the United States in terms of native traffic, as you can see. It's uh, about 40,000. Still not a whole lot though. Like I'm worried that as soon as we start doing a little bit of targeting that that number will just decrease even more. Uh, let's check Spain. Let's calculate, okay, so 34. How about the United Kingdom? This is my last check. Otherwise, we're just gonna go with it. Let's see what that does to the traffic. Maybe we have to click next. Ooh, okay, so this is even less, 8,000, close to 9,000. So that's definitely gonna be too little to start your campaign with. Uh, so let's just do Australia and next. And we're gonna go with this. Let's see. Okay, still very low traffic, all right? So you wanna make sure that you have enough potential daily impressions, otherwise your daily budget will not get spent and you will not generate enough data for your campaign. So to run native ads on desktop only in Australia is probably not a good idea, all right? Because you only have close to 3,000 uh, potential daily impressions. However, we are going to continue for now. Uh, but if you're running in Australia, I do not recommend you to uh, do native only on ad cash. Let's see, user interests. Uh, so right now they're all selected, but if you have done some research, if you know specifically which kind of interest your uh, potential customer, potential conversion uh, might have, then obviously you can uh, filter on it right here. We're gonna skip that for now. Website categories. So these are the categories that the websites are in, which is quite interesting. So for example, if we have a business kind of offer, then it might be interesting to run on business and industrials, industrial sites, right? Uh, so you can uh, target on those website categories right here, which is very nice. And then we have the device. So operation, operation system and version, so we can exclude or target specific operating systems and version, uh, versions, all right? So let me show you Android. There we go. So now we can select the specific Android version that we want to include or exclude from the campaign, or we can do the complete Android operating system. This will eliminate or target all the Android versions, all right? And then of course you have to click apply targeting rule and then it will appear here. Next up, browser. So we can do the exact same thing. So for example, Internet Explorer, there we go. Do we want to exclude or target only the complete Internet Explorer or specific ver versions, all right? And we can also do that with the browser language. So we can exclude or target only specific uh, languages that the browser needs to be set on. We're in Australia, so I would just use English. There we go, add targeting rule. Whoops, it says exclude right now. 
target only. Perfect. Contents. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have domain. Um, we can exclude or target only specific domains if you know the domains that are in this specific reach. URL keywords, same thing. We've got the zone list, which is basically um, a sort of whitelist and traffic restrictions. Uh, okay, so do not allow adult traffic or do allow adult traffic. Let's see if that changes anything. Nope. So they don't have adult traffic available in Australia. Uh, but right here you can select whether or not you would like to receive adult traffic as well. And then we have the connection. So the connection type is probably going to be Wi-Fi or um, mobile carrier. Um, okay, oh, there we go. Right here, perfect. So dial-up, cellular or cable slash DSL. And we can exclude or target only, of course. And organizations and ISPs. Right here, uh, we get a list of all the carriers. So I don't know any carriers in Australia, but Photophone Australia is one of them. And uh, we can exclude or target them specifically. Next up, let's see what's next. All right, so select the creative type. Of course, we're gonna go with native. Then we have the creative URL. This is gonna be your campaign URL, right? So campaign URL. Dot com. Perfect. Then we have the image 600 by 500. Let me just open Canva real quick so that we have a image with the right dimensions. 600 by 500. And I'm just going to import a random photo here. All right. Let's download this. Cool, and let's drop it in here, and we'll be able to see a little preview what it will look like. Oh, this is cool, Wait up, uh, web native image, so we can select what it's gonna look like when it's square, what it's gonna look like when it's rectangular. This is very nice, because instead that it crops it weird, and it will look like this, for example, we can now say, nope, if we need this size, we'll show it like this. If we need this size, we'll show it like this. Let's scroll down. This one is pretty good because it's so big and this one is the full photo. Uploads. All right, that looks good. Next up, we have the title. All right, so how many characters do we have? We have 100 characters for our title. I'm just gonna call it headline one. And we have the brand. So we can set a brand name for 25 characters. Your brand name here all right save creative and now it should appear down here yes it does perfect and let's press next is that going to be the last part of it no we are at budget right now so first we have the weekly distribution with 24 7 like it already says you, your campaign will run run live 24 7 with custom, you can select a specific schedule. So you can select the specific days and or hours that you do or do not want to run this campaign. All right. However, I always suggest to start out with 24 seven until you have enough data that tells you that you should exclude or include specific times and specific dates. Then we have the budget. So first we have the total campaign budget. It's currently set at unlimited, but if we click custom, we can select a total campaign budget. And then we have the campaign scheduling. So we can select a start date and an end date for this campaign. And now our campaign will start automatically according to the entered campaign period. Let's delete this for now, uh, because if you don't set a start and or end date, uh, you will get this option right here. Campaign status after validation. So, all right, so after it's validated, do you want your campaign to go active right away? Or do you want your campaign to go to pause and start it yourself? That's what we're gonna do right here. Then we have the zone capping. Limit the number of impressions for each zone and sub ID per, uh, per 24 hours. All right, 
and the minimum is 1000 for each zone sub ID. I'm not too worried about zone capping to be quite honest. All right, so we're gonna skip that for now. Then we have the bits and the bit type. We have CPM, CPC or CPA target, all right? Now we get a lot of questions. When do I use CPA and CPC? Well, you will only use it if you are a very experienced affiliate marketer, all right? Because if you are a experienced affiliate marketer, you know exactly when the time is right to move over to CPC and later to CPA target, all right? If you do not have the feeling and understanding of when is the perfect time to switch over, then I recommend you to stay on CPM, all right? So CPM is the most uh, friendly because it's the most stable, basically. So I would just stay right here. Uh, unless you have significant experience, then you might want to switch over to CPC or CPA targets. All right, CPM, frequency capping. You, so we can set it on unlimited. That way uh, a user can get our impressions unlimited times a day, but we are gonna put it on custom and we're gonna limit it to two impression every 24 hours. We are going to apply this on device, which means that if another device logs in as well with the same IP address, they can receive two impressions every 24 hours as well, all right? And then choose whether to set up three bits per country according to traffic performance quality tier bits or one bit per country. So with one bit per country, the average is 12 cents. And if we're doing three bits, we have the low quality for six cents, mid quality for seven cents, and high quality for 18 cents, all right? Now I only wonder, so they say uh, conversion rate high, volume low, average, average, and conversion rate low, volume high on tier three. Um, and with the one bit, we are at 12 cents. So yeah, I kind of wonder, like how would this would be split up how much percentage we would have in each tier because that way you can better calculate what is going to be more efficient for you the three bit or the one bit um, however obviously they don't provide that information and that information will fluctuate quite a lot all right and per country it's different as well uh, so i would just suggest to take a look at the bits for three bit and one bit and see what seems best in your specific case I'm going to go with the three bit. Um, so let's save the changes. Let's see, create bits for zone. No, that's all right. We're going to save the changes. These are saved. All right, so we can select the specific country and select a specific zone where we want to do a custom bit. All right, so then we have the cappings. So first the daily budgets, what is your daily budgets? And we can also set a budget for the daily impressions. I'm not too worried about that. I've already got my daily budget, so that should be fine. Uh, we're gonna check this box, spread budget throughout the day. This will basically make sure that we do not spend all of our daily budget in the first couple of hours, but instead spread it over the 24 hours that it needs to run. Save the capping, it's in there, perfect. Next up, I think is the overview. Yep, there we go, this is the overview. All right, so we're only running on desktop, so basically you can check all your settings here. And when it looks good, just simply click on create campaign and campaign created successfully. So that is how you create your native ads campaign using uh, ad cache. A, a nice platform. Uh, we couldn't found a whole lot of nat native traffic in the countries that we tried. Uh, so it's a little bit of a search for which countries you want to use ad cash. Uh, but if there is enough volume, if there is enough traffic available, it's a very nice platform with a lot of different options and a very user friendly platform. So that's gonna be it for this one, but no worries because I will catch you next time. And until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.